Hello and welcome back. So let, let's move to the next video. So we work in the previous one, the rectangular wind. So now let, let me show you the tapered wind, but the, the concepts are the same. The only, the important thing is that recall from the review, but also from the lectures now in, in that from Professor Bataro, there are these very interesting graphic. Now this is a theoretical result, but also experimental one regarding the tapered ratio. Okay, so what we have here is the influence, okay, a combination of aspect ratio, different aspect ratios, and different taper ratios. And you see the induced drag parameter. Recall that this one is related to the induced drag. You have it here. So we want to have a low value. Here, clearly, you see the influence of taper ratio on this parameter. And see that the minimum value is something about 0 0.4, 0 0.3, maybe 0 0.45. 0.5. There is where you have the value. So this is already a theoretical result that is that we can use as a starting point, but also as a final design. It's already known that these are this is the, the ideal the, the ideal taper ratio. Here also you have it for this low parameter. It's the same concept, probably a little bit shifted to, to zero to the left, but see there's something about 0 0.3, 0 0.5. For. So there is no need to, to, to use fantasy and start to go with really, really low taper ratios or to use the, the rectangular wing because it's not the ideal one. See that it have a large induced drag factor. So if we add a taper ratio, so say about 0 0.4, okay, already is going to give, you, give us very good results. It might happen in this case that this tall pattern might, might be closer to the tip, but that we know we can control it to, with twist. And just by adding this ta taper ratio and twist, we can get very close to the elliptical distribution. And you will see that only in, in, in few iterations here in the wind, we, we create another section. We have many things here already this this result will be close something close to the to the elliptical distribution and to, to point out that there is no need to 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 play around with this when we're using crazy values so if we go here you recall this review here you have many airplanes and as you look at all these airplanes you will see that the ratio between the root and the tip is something about 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.5 all of them checkable except for the delta wind that the taper ratio is zero but see that all of them already have that taper ratio so that is a result very well known okay so go your wind and if you want to add taper ratio 0 0.4 is already a good value probably you can iterate 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 that's all and see that this wind which is a or a wind with taper, trapezoidal wind, is already similar to this one. And if you want to get the elliptical wind, it's like a taper, tapered wind, but you need to add many sections in, in XFLR5 to approximate this one. But already this is a very good one. So I think these are my two favorite airplanes, all airplanes. This is the P51 Monstan. This is the first one that, 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 that use uh, a laminar flow win and this is the Spitfire that they exploit all, all this concept of the elliptical electrical lift distribution. Beautiful airplanes. So now let's do the design. So I close the software. Okay, I save my file there. So remember to save the file because for your homework you need to send send me that file. So I will launch XFLR5. Okay, and let's design the win. So I will start model and I will go directly now to the direct analysis of the airfoil, air, air the 2D. So I will choose any uh, uh, standard airfoil. Let me choose, I don't know, 2415, okay? I will use this airfoil, okay, ba ba ba, save, okay, ba 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 ba. Every now and then, save. I save it there and we have the airfoil and now we don't know the, the, the velocity, nothing. And let me go and move to win and plane design and let's design the win. You go plane, define a new plane. I don't want fin, I don't want elevator. I just focus in the wind. And see by default, always the center of gravity is zero. zero. Okay, now this is how, how you shift it, but always by default center of gravity is zero, zero. And 
you can change it in the definition of the analysis. Now you click in define and you enter into wind design. And here you can design your, your standard wind. So I will put any values here. Okay, so I recall the rectangular wind was 4.6, no, uh, the one that the example, so I will put here five. Okay, and then the core, or let me put this one, 1.2, 1 1.2 here, and let me put here 0 0.8. So when you design, always check that this one is giving you the tape, all the quantities. So see that we have a taper rate of 0 0.67. Let me reduce that to so 0.4. Okay, to low, 0 0.5. We have this taper ratio, and this is already an okay win. Then if you want to change you now the, the sweep angle of the leading edge is here. So as you put it here, you have this straight win. So this is already a, a good win. Okay, many airplanes you use something like that. So you want to add a little bit, probably this is more visual than, than the actual effect on the wind. You go here and you add your, your offset. So you go here, 0 0.5, and you put it there. So you do your geometries, you have something perfectly symmetric. So I would put, I will put there uh, 0 0.4. I will put here 0 0.3. So see that I have my tapered wind. I will add the airfoil, the one I created uh, there. So you have seen how to add the, also the twist, geometrical twist, aerodynamic twist, whatever. So let me add a little bit twist, one, minus one, and voila, there you go. So if you want to add another section, just put it here, insert section. And for instance, you want to approximate See that now I added many sections as you want to approximate that elliptical, you just need to do your, again, your, your algebra and your ellipses, and then you get the, 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 <clears throat> the radius there, the diameters, and you design your wind. Okay. It's up to you. So you can add as many sections as, as you like. So I will leave it like this, just two sections. And this is already a very good wind. Okay, probably I can criticize a lot the airfoil, it's not the best airfoil. And this is it. Win with safer ratio, save here. You want to rename, so see that default name, I want to change this name and I want to call it here, rename, I don't know, taper one. We have it there, taper one, save your project. Okay, we go analysis and we can run the analysis. And let's say that I want to run this analysis at 50 meters per second. It's already telling me here, these are the Reynolds numbers. So see that now in the previous one, re rectangular wind is, is one Reynolds number. But here as you have different cores, each one would see a different Reynolds. So now you, you need to run, if you want to run the viscous case, you need to run for all these Reynolds numbers. Okay, so safe. If I try to run a sequence step, it will tell me that everything is outside the this law because I don't have that, that data. So I need to interpolate all those values. So always here, well, you can do this computation manually. Oh, right, just look at here. So we need to, to run a lot of Reynolds numbers. So so to do that, you go back to full analysis and you can do it manually or you can go batch analysis and just put your Reynolds numbers here. So let me go. So this is something that we need to, I hate this part, but should be something automatically that you feel, but we need to do it manually. So, and always remember, I recommend you to do these increments a hundred thousand. Okay, ba -ba -da -ba. and let's wait a little bit while I fill in this and see you later. Okay, I'm back. So see that I 
populated my list from 1.5 million to 4.5. Something that you need to do manually. Probably there is a way to do it automatically. I haven't seen that one. But remember, if you want to add a new value here, you click in the in the ellipses here, and after, and then you can enable, disable. So it's not enable. Click here the X, and if you want to raise. So you add your values in that way. So see that I added all my values and I'm ready to run. So it's going to run parallel, all these Reynolds numbers, all these values. Okay, before running, let me save it first. Who knows, probably crash, go back here. The information is still there, you can lose it. Analyze and see what happens. So it's running, see that all Reynolds number, all these angle of attack. So it's a lot of information that we need. Okay. And at this point, okay, it still is running. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. So yes. And now this is complete and we're done. So we have all these Reynolds. We cover probably this one. I don't need it. I can erase it. Save. We cover everything and now I can go back when I'm playing analysis, see that I'm sure that those values are covered, save, and we can do, do the computation analysis. And there you go. See, very simple, easy piece. Okay. So it doesn't matter the airplane, whatever we're doing here. So see that this one in this condition for this velocity is generated. So let's say that my goal is 4,000 newtons of lift. So you see that here you have the three, con three condition. Look at that. This wind have better properties than the previous one. Adding the, the taper, see that I have better properties. Okay. So I'll have that influence there. Here you have your drag, your LD. So we go here and we're interested in this. So if we check the induced angle, so I click here, plus R to zoom this, here we start to see the difference. So by adding that taper ratio and the twist, look at that, we have this, but I want to look, see that we're controlling the angle at this local lift. And this is what we have. So probably we added too much leaf or probably would be better. So these are the steps. So what I'm showing you, I think you should follow that also for your win. The most critical uh, thing, as you can guess, will be the airflow selection. So probably we can add a section and act two and probably one at four or take it, remove the, remove the, 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 uh, uh, the twist, the geometrical twist. So if I go back plane here, just the wind and let's say that the, this was too much probably let me put it at zero save okay and select here analyze okay so probably this is asking me to add maybe something here at three so if i go back edit win let me add a new section so put it here after and I put it at three and that one it will require a little bit higher so let me put still six okay select analyze and see that already see the fit there and go back now I go back here and this one let me put it constant there so the intersection, it is constant. And then here I add this one to avoid having now here this tall in that section. And see so that is getting better. So maybe I can add a little bit more at the root or some side section, or this is already also telling you that you can increase you can have a positive uh, a washing, but it's not recommended. So we leave it constant, but this see that this is already a good distribution. Maybe another section can be better. So something at two and, and four, um, you can proceed 
as we did for the case uh, as we did for, for, for the for the rectangular win. But this is a, the, the, the principle the idea. As you look at deficiency, what I mentioned that sometimes due to some numerical problems, here will be larger than one, but this is telling you that it's a good efficiency. And also important to point out that regarding how to control this method, because this is a, a nonlinear method, it is iterated. So as you go into analysis, advanced settings, here you have the options for the LLT and the VLN. So see that in the LLT, by default, you have 20 stations, 10 by win. So probably it's a good idea to use 40. Okay, it's a little bit larger. And you have your solution, more stations. And look at that, you increase the number of, of station, but you have problem with the convergence. So this is the problem here that you have to be careful that is you increase the stations also recommended to increase here relaxation factor. So let me put this to 50, analyze. There are still some points on converge. So the advanced settings and also increase this one to thousand. Okay, so now everything converged, but see that the result is not very good. Actually, by increasing the number of panels, it didn't have an effect. So you sometimes you, you get into these problems. It can be tricky. So usually this one we increase and let's see what happened now. Mm, no, it's not. Okay, it crashed. Let's just see that. All. So it wasn't a good selection. So I don't recommend you know, or if you play with this one with that, be be, be careful that you can add uh, some some instability in your solution. So use the default values. So you can play a little bit, but if you see that you don't get anything, reset and you go to the default values. Um, appears that it crashed again. So now that problem, I have no idea what could be. I reopen again. Here, text two. Okay, let me save. Uh, analysis, advanced setting, I reset everything and define analysis, everything here, save, okay, okay, save, analyze, okay, now it's, uh, it's okay, so it's all time happens, be, be very careful. So for instance, coming back to this, something that you can do as well, you can probably we change this one we can change also the the core in that section so you see that everything will have an effect there uh, and let me go define current plane i can edit this one so in this core let me modify this one let me put it to one that is specific core so i increase that core and see what is happening is this one so kind of i'm constructing a win no that it will be similar to an elliptical one just by adding sections. So let's see what happens with this. Increasing the core there, and I select this one. And see that have a, a positive effect. Now it's getting closer. And this is a point that if I add another section and then increase a little bit the, the core, I can get very close to, to, to that ideal win. So this is the local lift and the CL important here you can see your style progression so remember that the wind here you don't want these values at the tops to be larger than the internal one and with ones because that means that it will stall first so see here that is stalling first here because it's a larger cl and then after it will stall here so let me go back to the original to the original win here so not actually, let me erase the twist. Okay, uh, no twist here, no twist here. Let me erase this section, save, okay? And let's analyze this one. And let's look at the CL. So this is what happens with a pure taper win. We saw that one in the review, also the theory, that is more, is more loaded towards the tip when we look at the CL. So remember that in, when it comes to CL, to have something closer to elliptical distribution, you have a uniform, you want 
a uniform leaf distribution. And if you look at the leaf, you want something that is elliptical. Okay. So you can use CL to control the stall progression and leaf. You can use it to control you now the ideal distribution. So see here that this is not very good because you are stalling first towards the, the tips and that is not ideal. So how do we control this? We need to reduce the CL max and that is controlled simple by aerodynamic twist or aerodynamic uh, or geometric twist. This is one in this case, or because we already have the data, let's add only the geometric twist. Okay, so as we did previously, you go back, plane, edit here. So the easiest way is that making this negative in the tip. So let me put here twist minus one. So I'm reducing now the angle of attack there and see, let's see the effect just by adding minus one see that we have a strong effect in CLC that now is not stalling there. Just one degree is enough to control the stall progression. And if we look at the leaf, it's not so pretty. So now probably we need to control a little bit. So here, I think ideally we can add three more stations, two, three, and four. And there we play with the angle to control that. Just to show you, let me add one, let me add one and two. Define your edit your win and insert after at, yeah in the middle is okay. So the other twist and that one is okay and this one let's see what happens. Uh, nothing happens because we, we, we left there the the linear interpolation. Okay, so now we can for instance it was two point five we can increase that incidence angle. So let me go here instead, edit win, and let me put it at zero, zero. Let me show you for instance, if I put it larger than, so this is washing, so it's possible, it's doable, but <clears throat> not recommended. And actually it's giving convergence problems and it was crashing that specific case. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and I didn't save. So very important. Every now and then save everything. So bum bum bam bam. Let me go. And I oh know actually it's this one. Well, pretty much the same. And okay, so we go like this just to show you zero. And I put it this one minus one. And this one was 2.5 in the middle. Okay, so pretty much the same. Okay, let me save. If I run here. Okay. And analysis probably have something. Okay, and zero degrees. So see that is too low. Uh, okay, no, this is the induced uh, CL. This is okay. So see that now. Here it's not stalling, probably will stall first in this region. And our leaf distribution, we can play a little bit. So as you go back here, you can edit the win and see that you can add more, more sections or play here. So for instance, I might here, it will be tempted to increase this to, to one. So see that we're having this. Okay, save, put, analyze, zero, and there you go. And probably now you can do something in, in three and you get closer. So I recommend you to go, uh, ne do not, do not, do not use washing. It can give you problems. You see here that, 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 that is crashing, but it can give you problems. So I recommend you just play with the core, wash out, also the aerodynamic twist, but it's, this is how you proceed to design your win. So look at always at the polar, define your target quantity in the, in the home where you will have the problem definition, you will have the target velocity weight. So 
you will need to do this manual iteration and that's all. So I see that the po very positive effect of this taper win is the moment. Okay, so uh, there you, you require left train, uh, le le less train to keep no, your, your, your airplane balance. So I think, uh, I know, so just to show you also the other solvers, so we're using the LLT. Remember the LLT used the, all these viscous corrections. So if you define another analysis here, you can get access to different solvers. See that now here you have the 3D panels. Uh, I don't recall, uh, actually, yeah, I think in the newest version, which is this one, the 3D panels, it was able to use 3D panels with, with multiple surfaces, but it seems that it's not possible because when we added detail, it wasn't enabled. Uh, I think that that is strange, but let's say let, let's say that I want to run the BLN. I don't want the viscous correction, so all that data that we have in 2D, we are not using that. And you can run analyze, and this is it. This is your solution. Okay, so there are some differences. So you should expect, but, but where is this similar? Okay, remember that here you 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 you. <clears throat> we don't have CD0, so this is just induced drag, you see here. And for instance, we can use another method, another analysis. So you have the other methods, the rim vortex. As you run your analysis, pretty much the same results. And then you have the other method, the panel method, that probably would be the most accurate one. And all this method lets you use this correction, okay, that you are taking the airfoil data. So you disable this one, you, you don't care, you don't need that airfoil data. We enable the, the, the panel method and you can run. And there you go, you have your results, you have this one and this one, okay, and voila. LLT, panel, no, vortex lateral panel LLT. So there are different small differences because of the deformation uh, formulation, but they are all there around the the, the ballpark. Okay, it's so about ten percent, five percent. Um finally what I want to show you is you go back to, to the airplane here. So this is the actual paneling that you are resolving when you use the panel solver in basic, see there. If you want to change the paneling, here it's not recommended, as I say, putting a million panels, there is no need, okay? So some stuff like this, propose it automatically, it's okay. So that is, you can modify that as you go to your win definition. What you see here is your paneling. So for instance, let me put in here, 30, save, okay, and see that you have 30 panels there. And this auction represents the distribution. Okay, I want a uniform distribution there. You have it there. So it is recommended to have more panels towards the leading edge and trailing edge. So that one you can leave it enabled. But in this case, see that this, I don't need it. So this might be sources of, of, of error. So this one, I don't need it. I want it uniform. So you go back. So this one, you can leave it. And we want, uh, okay, this one uniform and uniform. And see that you have this. Okay, much better. And let me change here. 30 also. And, and 20 and 20. Okay, so more panels not necessarily means better mesh, but this shouldn't have, should, should improve maybe. It will be slower, okay? Remember that each panel, you add your vortex there, and then you are going to assemble that matrix of, of influence, and you are going to compute the influence of this panel in every single panel that you have and so on. So you need to move every, every, in every panel. So adding too many of them is very expensive because the matrix that you need to solve the, to embarrass will become larger. So at this point, analyze. 
you are going to see the influence that is much, much slower. See, that's telling you, and this is where you are putting all the computational effort. Constructing that is not that difficult. All your computational effort is going there in, in inverting that, that matrix. So it wasn't that big. And actually, 30 by 30, there are not many panels. And it's taking a, a, a long time. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, see that this is the number of panel that we have. So that is not that much, but it's taken a long time. It needs to compute all that inf matrix of influence, everything. Okay, so it is done. We have results, see that now we resolve the actual signals and everything. It's not like in the vortex lattice that is only the camber line. You are resolving everything. Again, you can put your string lines there if you like those colors. Let me save also. Put in zero. And you have there. So this one, this is giving problems now. So it's not it's not resolving now the 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 winter vortex and let's look here we have it there and if we compare So as you see, very, very different results. And here we're having problems with, with accuracy. So adding too many panels can be can be critical, but also how, how you choose the clustering. So try to use, when you go there, try to use the default, default values. Same will happen if I go here and BLN. BLN also will use that same paneling. See that it's time consuming, it's less time consuming because it's only only you are computing on the camber line but it still is an expensive computation your all your angles and let me you have it there so there are very different results i will trust more in the in the vortex lat in the blm method it tends to be more more reliable And here, here you go. You have it two different methods as you go here in the airplane. And let me show you that the vortex latex, what is solving, see that is the camber line. You have the airfoil definition and will compute the camber line. That is what is resolving. Instead, your panel method is resolving the whole stuff. Personally speaking, I prefer the vortex latex. They are very robust and you can use it for, for everything, for a complete definition of the airplane, tail, empennage, fuselage, everything. Instead, panel method will have limitations. The LLT as formulated in, in here in this software, it's only for the main wing, but you can correct it. Now, if you have tail, you just need to add that down wash. Also, let me show you something, another case that in the files that you have, for instance, you can add winlets. Remember, LLT is just the planar wind. It's the one winlet you use, the a BLN or the panel method. So as you go in the cases that I gave you, you will find this this geometry, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, rectangular tapered, like if I will recall. So you have a few cases there. Let me open to see which one. No, uh, watch out. So here you have, in that one, you have an example. This is a compound win. Okay, so you have rectangular and then paper it and you can follow that. Uh, but I have a case somewhere that I added the winlet. I added the winlet, uh, probably is this. So, ta, 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 no. And, and Sibyls, yes, yes, yes uh, uh, 
Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, probably you didn't have the case. I have it somewhere else. So if I go here and this one, I think if I will recall is this one. Okay, here, here you go. So this is what I wanted to show you this particular case with winlet. So you have the geometry definition and you add winlets. To add the winlets, it's relative easy. You go in the wind definition. Okay. Edit wind. And basically you have a new section. So this is your wind that's from zero to six. And then the wind looks is this. And you add at the, the, the diagonal angle. So see that's 50 degrees represents. You put it this zero, you go there. So you control your winglet here. So it's relatively easy and you can add different sections. It's up to you. So if you add, if you are adding this winglet, remember that the, the LLT method doesn't, okay. The winglet, you're not going to see the, the effect of winglets on, on your, on your polars. You need to use any of the other methods, okay? Vortex, lattice, vertex, or 2D panels. I prefer this one. So you use this one, running visit and analyze. Compute it for everything. And we should have the polars now. You go here and you should have your winglet polar. Let me hide everything. Okay, here. So you can then run with no winlet. So okay, let me show. So see the influence. So the winlets have this influence uh, here. So let me see what happened. Okay, the winlet reduce. Uh, well, surely this one that I should compare. Okay, so it have adding winlet have an effect if increasing lift. Okay, it will increase the drag because. You're increasing lift and remember that induced drag is a byproduct of, of lift, but you're increasing lift because you are effect, uh, you are modifying effectively the lift distribution. So kind of, this is the effect of, of the windlets you are modifying there. So as you compare with the other, with no wind, let's see what happens. So pretty much same wind definition. You have this. But probably still studying windlets. It is better in seeing using a proper CFD, but you can see the effect here. So kind of it is modifying this distribution here in the other case. See that remains here. You put that wall and that wall will increase that here. But maybe here you need will need to control a little bit better that. So that's all. So as, as you think here, uh, the, all these videos, uh, I was supposed to do some chart videos, but extend that a lot. I'm really passionate about this field. Now you do aerodynamics and then you link it to the stability. It's, it's very interesting. So you have there now all the steps how to design the wind. Uh, the next time we meet up, we're going to review this, but that's all. Thank you for attention. See you next time. Bye.